Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to bring back lost footage within Premiere Pro. So what I mean by this is sometimes when you're editing in Premiere Pro, you'll start doing effects on a lot of different clips and then you'll accidentally delete those clips. And if you continue editing on, you can only undo so far. So in this example, I continued to edit and I lost all of the underlying video layers on the video one layer, the full minute to be exact. So I panicked. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just spent an hour doing that. But there's a quick solution. You basically have to open an older version. So what you're going to need to do is open up your finder window and go to your project folder. This is where you saved your project to. I saved my project as Alpha Chi Rush, and you can see that right up here. But all you have to do is go to Adobe Premiere Pro Auto Save. So you can see my most recent one is actually this Alpha Chi Rush 11. So if I open this up, you guys can see that I have none of the footage right here that I spent so long working on. However, if I go back to this window and start clicking on some of these older versions, I might find that some of them might have some of these earlier clips. So let's go all the way back to two. So this project actually had all of the beginning sequence shots. However, it won't have the later half that I just spent so long editing when I continued on. So all we have to do is copy that from our other saved file. So if we go back to our other saved file that doesn't have the beginning, so all we have to do is highlight everything that we want to copy over, click Control C, and then go back to our sequence that has the beginning half, and then copy that to the end of our video sequence so that we have both of those sequences. So now we have the full video again. So that's the quickest tutorial, guys. All you have to do is pretty much go into your Finder window and find your Project Save folder and look for an Adobe Premiere Pro autosave and then find your saved files right there. Hopefully that helped you guys. And as always, click that thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time.